Thanks very much, Manisha, for that. You know, Abhishek is now uh, joining in uh, also to talk about, uh, you know, from a stock perspective, uh, what is Morgan saying about Manapuram Finance? Manapuram, by the way, held an analyst day. Abhishek, uh, before what, uh, you know, detailing what Morgan is saying, what is the implication of gold prices going up for gold finances? I mean, uh, the connection feeds through, uh, through what's called the LTV, right? Go on. Well, yes. As you mentioned, you know, the LTV actually helps in uh, giving higher uh, gold disbursers and that also aids in your AUM growth. And for whichever book you have already made, uh, you know, the LTVs, uh, the cushion with respect to default actually increases. So you have better cushion against the loan and you have more growth per se, if at all you are disbursing on a higher gold price. So Morgan Stanley has written on Manapuram Finance. They have an overweight rating target price of about 200 per share. Uh, the analyst meter takeaways is that uh, the company has reiterated the guidance of 20% loan growth and 20% ROE in FI24, largely driven by the non-gold business. Remember that in Q2 FI24, uh, the AUM growth was around 27% YOI. For gold loans, they have guided 8% growth in FI24 uh, with a focus of maintaining the yields anywhere between 21% to 22%. On non-gold or um, non-MFI business, the management is confident of keeping the credit cost at and around 1% to 1.5% level. So, company is also awaiting a response from SEBI with respect to the MFI business that they intend to li uh, list. Uh, that is Asirwa, the microfinance. Back to you. Mm, okay. All right. Got that. Uh, thank you very much for the details there, Abhishek.